Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, a cross watcher, wherever you have the planetary placement in your chart, please try to claim the energy in a helpful, positive manner for yourself or leave the reading where it is. Now, let's hit this. <sighs> Clearing ground for Scorpio, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source. The Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of Scorpio. Scorpio energy is fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, here we go. Scorpio, what's the T for Scorpio? Please and thank you. Any planetary placement? Show me. We have a thief. Ooh, Scorpio, watch. Somebody's trying to rob something from you. Could be anything, okay? It could be your money, your resources, your time, your affection, anything, right? Show me. Somebody wants you back. That's why. Oh, somebody wants you back, Scorpio. Be careful you're not dealing with a thief because they're really into you. Good chemistry, great vibes, and positivity. Show me what else is going on. Here we go. Child services. Oh, Mary. All right, so somebody could be calling them. Somebody could be at risk of having their children taken away for some kind of neglect or abuse. It doesn't have to be you, right? You also have somebody who's wasting time here because they ain't shit. All right, that's it. Or the situation isn't shit. Someone could be stuck. No changes and very limited. Same shit, different day. Somebody's uninterested. It could be with somebody that wants them back. Somebody's looking for some kind of inside information. Let's get the romance angels for you, Scorpio. Here you go. Show me. I think this person that wants your back ain't shit and they're wasting your time. Here you go. Love yourself first, Scorpio. Always. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Show me. You also have true love. The step, this is the romance of a lifetime. And the steps are worth taking for it. One more, please. One more. Scorpio. Scorpio, you also have deception. See, somebody could be being very deceptive here, all right? And wasting your time. Maybe they're trying to rob you. Someone who's wearing a false mask is some kind of a relationship you're in. And you deserve honest love because you are lovable, Scorpio. All right. Let's hit the tarot for Scorpio. Please and thank you, Scorpio. By the way, thank you for taking the valuable time out of your day to join us. We are so grateful for you. We love you. We see you. We acknowledge you. We are sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every friggin' form possible to infinity and beyond. Look at this. You've got a seven of swords. You're sitting in a nine of pentacles energy, all right? You're, you are probably enjoying, you know, the solo pleasures of the work off your back. Nine of Pentacles talks about luxury and some kind of financial or materialistic gain. It is self-sufficiency. It's having everything you need or want, except for maybe love, right? So, financially stable at the least, and you have a Seven of Swords. You also have some kind of a thief here, okay? Seven of Swords is when somebody's trying to get away with something. It could be robbing you, but it could be any kind of betrayal, lies, or deception that's going on at all, right? Sitting in this kind of financial success, it could be financially for something that you have that's resourceful. Tell me what's going on. There's a betrayal at hand here, okay? Now, at the foundation of the situation, you see what I'm saying? You're an empress. You might have had some kind of glow up here. You might have been doing something that was very fertile or creative. Maybe seen worldwide. People had a lot of respect and, and, and they look up to you in some way. And also, you have dignity, class, and self-respect and you know your value and your worth. Somebody sees that in you and they want to take something from you. It could be anything, even your energy, all right? Yeah. Don't forget, the Empress is the best attributes of all four queens rolled up into one, right? So the best of everything. So obviously you're looking like a tasty dish to somebody here. Now, what's going on here? You have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody wants to give up here. Somebody here with the Nine of Wands in reverse, they, maybe they're refusing to compromise. They could be very defensive. They could be on a struggle bus. Let's see what's going on. Maybe you have to be because you could have, you know, people that are trying to betray you. Now, coming in, you got a Queen of Wands, Aries energy. 
there's going to be some kind of assertive action taken. Um, this person is very bold. This person is very brave. This person can even be intimidating, okay? It's the Queen of Wands. Their energy ent enters the room before they do. Very self-assured, optimistic, and vibrant energy. So let's see how you're perceiving this in your mind's eye. You're looking at this like you completed a cycle, okay? So there might have been somebody that had Aries in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, coming into your life, and you completed a cycle with this person, okay? There was an accomplishment, an achievement. You had some kind of success. You may have taken some kind of aggressive, assertive action that um, culminated in some kind of success or completion of the situation. The 21st could be of significance or the third. We now have Taurus energy. Now, here you are, working hard. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying. To get this Nine of Pentacles, you're actually doing the work. You're committed, dedicated, and focused. You're headed to the grindstone. You're not bothering anybody, it doesn't look like. You're securing your financial future here. You might have some kind of skill or some kind of, um, yeah, craft that you could prosper from here. That you become a master at, okay? It's the Eight of Pentacles. It's becoming a, an expert at something that you're committed to. Some kind of talent, okay? Now look, you got a Page of Cups here. In reverse. So you might be dealing with somebody immature or childish. And with the Page of Cups in reverse, since they are messengers, uh, you know, it might not be such a happy message that you get. But something here also could be unre unrealistic. Something might feel unrealistic to you. Some of you might be dealing with some kind of inner childhood issues. But perhaps also, too, with the Page of Cups, it could just be somebody feeling insecure. Like, maybe you're feeling insecure some way, somehow. Because that would be the Page of Cups in reverse. Now, you uh, don't feel insecure. See, this is what, thank you, Spirit and Ancestors. Spirit wants to advise you. If you feel like, you know, maybe things aren't going to work out in your favor, or perhaps these betrayals, or you're dealing with some kind of, I, I keep getting the word insecurity, okay? Some kind of insecurity. Whatever that is, is going to be different. Don't do that, because you have a victory coming in. You have the Six of Wands. See? Six of Wands is about gaining self-confidence and pride. So if you feel a little, you know, like um, you have a lot of self-doubt here or something like this. Insecure again. I don't want to keep saying the same word, but this is what they keep telling me. Um, get over it. Because this is about gaining some pride and confidence and moving forward and having success, okay? And having a victory. And maybe even doing something that, you know, some kind of craft or something that you have that you could uh, definitely... Turn into some kind of solid resource and financial gain here, all right? And maybe even be seen worldwide. Maybe it's something on the internet. I don't know, Scorpio. But this is success all day, every day. This is accolades. This is people looking up to you. Look, there's a new opportunity here for something long-term and financial. It might come in after some kind of loss or hardship. Somebody's got a goal and a focus here, though. To overcome any obstacle and they want control over their success. Somebody might have some car issues or be traveling the 7th of June. Look, you've got the King of Pentacles here. And the, what you don't know, you don't see, like, and there's love here with the Queen of Cups. There's going to be some kind of fairness and balance. Balance coming into a situation between the Justice and the Two of Pentacles there. Like, wow. There could be some legal issues that are going to work out for you. All right? And you've got a Ten of Cups here. So that's a lot of happiness, Scorpio. Just whatever opportunity this is, it does have the opportunity to grow deep roots. It's some kind of, you know... Okay, uh, today's the pentacles. Could be a new job, some kind of new income. Show me. One more. One more. One more. You got the three of swords. Coming in in reverse. So you do have some kind of emotional pain that you're healing from, okay? You also have the nine. This is Virgo energy. Somebody might do some soul searching, and this is how they're going to get over whatever emotional pain or heartbreak that they may have had in the past. And then there's this, the eight, there's the page of pentacles, okay? A new opportunity to build upon something, all right? Could be dealing with uh, Virgo here, highly. Somebody's going to do some soul searching and, and spend some time maybe in solitude. This is about enlightenment. It's about self-reflection and introspection. And that's going to bring you to a place where whatever emotional pain you may have had in the past, or whatever kind of betrayals this is, all right, uh, you're going to get over it. You're going to heal. And then you've got this opportunity for a new beginning here. Now, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles is, you know, save your money. Don't overspend. Hold back. You know, if you have any ideas, don't let everybody know what they are so they steal them from you and whatnot. But just be frugal. That's an energy of frugality. Show me what's going on here. Give me some chippers for Scorpio. Scorpio, I'm just going to ask you. I'm not going to edit these videos because I'm running late on them. 
So I'm not going to put all those pop-ups, subscribe, likes, and all this. So I'm just going to ask you straight out. Could you please be kind and hit that like and subscribe? I really, really appreciate it. Somebody hold somebody in high honor. Somebody can be 52 here. 7, July. Somebody here. Look, see, you got dishonesty. And it popped right in on the Seven of Swords. Somebody's not being on level with you. They're trying to do something. There's some kind of betrayal. The eighth could be of significance. Show me. You got somebody around you that's, uh, you know, not good here. They're up to something. They have some kind of plan or scheme or strategy. They're lying. Giving you dirty looks behind your back. Somebody's got gloomy thoughts. 33 or 6. We've got 3s across the board. 3s are pure energy of the Ascended Masters. Also, Scorpio, while we're on the subject. Playing for your healing sound bath in the background instead of 288 hertz. 288 megahertz. We are working on our sacral chakra, which is located between your navel and your genitals. The element is water, and the mantra is I feel. I feel, right? The color is orange. So any orange crystals, carnelian, red adventurine, uh, coral, mutilated quartz, maybe some amber. It's all forms of sexuality and self-gratification and sensuality, fantasies, desires, your kinkiness, and your creativity, which is, you know, good here with this uh, empress. So something that you're creating. Somebody can be trying to steal something you're creating. <coughs> anyway, we have a good lady here. The six could be of significance, something about June. That's it. Now, let's, I gave you the signs, right? I gave you Aries, Taurus. I told you. Aries again. Virgo. And Taurus. It's like repetitive. Let's get you some letters and we'll let you out of here. We love you, okay? I'm hearing... Okay, so you got... You have R, B, and P. You have M, N, and X. Okay? You also have two E's, two U's, an I, and a G. So BPM, something like that. RPMs, RPMs, something about RPMs. I don't know. There you go, guys. We love you. Always remember, lead with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy. Trust in God. Karma is real. And until next time, love, light, and laughter.